More now on the breaking news from Alaska tonight that Sarah Palin will not meet with investigators in the Troopergate scandal. This comes as Palin denied again in an interview that she made any personal effort to get Trooper Mike Wooten fired from his job. Palin says Public Safety Commissioner Walt Monaghan was fired from his job because of job performance issues, not for refusing to fire Wooten, Palin's ex-brother-in-law. The issue is the commissioner who was his boss, was he pressured to fire mm. that trooper? That's the underlying Monaghan. issue here, right? Monaghan. Commissioner Monaghan. Commissioner Monaghan has said the governor never asked me to fire him. The governor's husband never asked me to fire him. And we never did. I never pressured him to hire or fire anybody. Joining us now on the phone from Chukik, Alaska, is that commissioner, Walt Monaghan, the Alaskan official whose dismissal by Sarah Palin is the focus of the Troopergate investigation. Chief Monaghan, thanks very much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Uh, Governor Palin told Charlie Gibson, you just heard the clip there, that neither she nor her husband ever pressured you to hire or fire anybody. Is that the truth? No, not entirely. The, the part about did she or anybody of her staff say fire him quote unquote that never occurred and no one ever said fire him what they said is things like this man should not be a trooper this man shouldn't represent the troopers you know, those kind of things which are inferring that to fire him in would you describe it as being pressured um to move him out of the office and was it and how overt was that pressure if you did feel that pressure well the very first time i even heard trooper wooden's name was by a uh, by through her husband Todd who wanted to tell me what kind of character that uh, was working for me and how he had filed a complaint and, and uh, had documents and pictures and primarily wanted to describe uh, the character of, of Trooper Wooten and uh, that was in January of 07 it continued uh, right up until the last I think that popped up on this was in February of this year so it was continual. It was a kind of reoccurring theme. If it wasn't, initially it was with the governor and her husband, but then it became other commissioners. And, uh, and not only did they call me, but they called other members of my staff. Well, in reaction to this scandal, Governor Palin has been claiming that you were dismissed not because of any resistance to this effort to get Trooper Wooten fired, uh, but because of job performance issues on your point. She says that she was disappointed uh, in your performance on budget issues, recruitment and retention of troopers. Uh, they're pushing hard against you now on this. What is your reaction to that? Well, I'm really disappointed because obviously I think up here in the local stories as you were starting to merge, I truly did not know why I was why I was terminated. I mean, the very first night it happened, I walked away scratching my head. But since then, watching how she jumped from one topic to another, it narrowed it down in my mind exactly why I was terminated. Chief Monaghan, um, we've had breaking news tonight that the uh, spokespeople, spokespeople for the McCain-Palin campaign are now saying that Governor Palin will not cooperate with the investigation. She will not speak to investigators. I know and you know and everybody knows that she had initially greeted the investigation um, uh, with enthusiasm. She had said that she was planning on participating in it. What do you make of tonight's breaking news? Well, I'm disappointed on, on two areas here. First off, because initially she did say that she was going to cooperate, like you mentioned. But the other part, probably more fundamental, is that she campaigned, and she was all of, I think, of Alaska's hope for a open and transparent government. And now it's being thwarted. On the issue of her campaign for the vice presidency, the basis of this investigation is that she essentially abused her power. This investigation has gone from that initial charge to an allegation that she covered up and lied about what she did in order to avoid getting in trouble for it. Was it very clear and common knowledge at the time that members of her administration and Governor Palin herself were pressuring you about firing this trooper? Was it, was it clear, common knowledge in state government that that sort of behavior was inappropriate, out of bounds, and, not, uh, and, and an abuse of power by the governor's office? Well, I would say that it was probably very clear and known to the senior command of the uh, Department of Public Safety and the Alaska State Troopers because we were all recipients of the phone calls. And uh, or the messages or the whatever. I mean, it was a, a constant kind of thing. But certainly, by the fact that they they probably all would 
already knew that this was inappropriate because they never used the word fire him. We mm -hmm. want you to fire him. So they, they merely inferred it, which tells me, as a former investigator myself, that they knew it was wrong. Chief Monaghan, can I ask why you have decided to speak publicly about this investigation? Obviously, you are at the center of this storm. It's your decision whether or not you speak to people like me in the press, whether or not you put your story out through official channels or you do it yourself. Can I ask just what's gone into your own decision to be publicly available on this? Well, I'm actually I'm holding myself a little bit back because I have resisted trying to go on air. That's, there's plenty of news crews that are trying to put me in front of a camera, and I've, I've resisted that. The idea, though, everything that, that has happened, it, re it harms, I think, the, the people in, in the state of Alaska in regards to some of their safety issues, as well as the, the people themselves who are charged in carrying this out. You know, Governor Palin, actually, we all had high hopes for in, in trying to bring the, the troopers and everybody else in government to where it needs to be. And that, honestly, uh, if you were to, if you were able to talk to the vast majority of the of the troopers that are stationed all across this big state, they started to see a light at the end of the tunnel. They thought that for a change now, people are going to support them, and what that does is they in turn support everybody else. Um, and I think right now, at least what I was told the other day is that that is that has come to a screeching halt. Yeah. Well, high and dry is the term that uh, comes to mind here. Former Alaska Commissioner of Public Safety, uh, Walt Monaghan, former Chief of Police in Anchorage, thank you very much for speaking with us tonight. I appreciate you taking the time to do it. All right. Thank you very much.